All right, y'all. So it looks like a million dollar Bitcoin price target is going to be coming way sooner than 2030. I guess we're going to get some information on that. But I've heard multiple different prices, man. I've heard a lot of price points. I've heard 500,000. I've heard 250,000. Um, but I mean, regardless of which one is correct, all of them are higher than where we are right now, which is good. If all the experts are coming together saying that based on the institutional adoption and things like that, it's going to be moving upwards. That that's good. That's profit. I mean, you were, we should profit handsomely regardless because it's going to be going up. Like we, how much it goes up definitely could change some lives, but listen, we, I, we just got to sit alone for the ride. I, I don't care who's right. As long as we go up, that's the only thing I care about. As long as the direction is right. I don't, I don't really care who's right. <laughs> so that being said, y'all let's jump into it. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, we're going to be covering all types of crypto stuff, crypto metaverse, NFTs, all of that, man. I cover all of it. Um, I believe in the technology behind it, even if you don't believe in some of the things surrounding it. So that being said, we'll be jumping into it. Let's get it. So if you had that bill case for more than 1 million USD Bitcoin, has your forecast timeline to reach that price now shortened? Bitcoin's price is on a tear. Today, it touched $70,000. The price is flying higher and higher every day as demand vastly outstrips supply. A lot of people are saying that Bitcoin's price can hit 100K before the halving. It's incredible the digital gold rush we're seeing happening in crypto right now. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to get an edge in the market. I don't think most people realize if this keeps going the way it's going, Bitcoin's price can hit $1 million way sooner than 2030. And what's interesting is people don't realize that this is Bitcoin is created. Bitcoin is something that's supposed to be held by everyone, like literally everyone, everyone on the planet is something that's designed for that purpose. The financial systems is failing and something has to take its place. Now you have the people who are on board with the newer cryptos that's way faster and things like that, that don't believe that Bitcoin, they, they think that Bitcoin is a dinosaur. It can't be used for that purpose, which can it or can it not? I don't know. I'm not the expert in this field. Um, what I'm here for is the profits. And I believe that Bitcoin is going to go up and I believe that Bitcoin is valuable because it's the most trusted and respected. I feel like uh, it's the biggest community that's pushing for, that's pushing forward against all the problems that Bitcoin has. Like any problem has a solution. So just because the tech used in Bitcoin, people say is old. I still believe that if people are dedicated to solving these problems, the problems are going to get solved. And I don't think that there's any community bigger than Bitcoin when it comes out to what community is trying to solve problems. That, that's just that's just what it is, in my opinion. But anyway, let's keep listening. This is insane. Kathy Wood is moving up her $1 million Bitcoin price prediction way sooner than 2030. Listen, tell me what you think. Your price target for Bitcoin is bill case north of 1 million US dollars. So if you had that bill case for more than 1 million USD Bitcoin, has your forecast timeline to reach that price now shortened? Yes, that target, what we uh, evolved in, uh, it was before the SEC uh, gave, us, gave us the green light. And I think that was a major milestone and it has pulled forward the timeline. Um, one thing I will say right now, no wirehouse, so whether we're talking about Morgan Stanley, uh, or uh, Merrill Lynch, B of A, or uh, UBS, or Wells Fargo. Uh, no, no platform has approved uh, Bitcoin yet. So all of this price action has happened before they approved it. Um, and so, you know, we haven't even begun. So, what so basically all the catalyst that's supposed to shoot this up has yet to happen still. So this this is very bullish information. This is definitely bullish if you look at it from that perspective. All the stuff that they were factoring in that's gonna be catalyst that actually takes this to that place has yet to happen and it's still doing, doing crazy numbers. Like, that's huge. What's your timeline for 1 million USD Bitcoin now? And is there perhaps a price target beyond that now? Yes, our target is above that. Uh, we've got a 2030 target. So. Uh, it's well above that, and and uh, with our if, they, if she says something crazy like I'm gonna love it, but I don't know if I'm gonna believe it. But I'm gonna love it though. Let let me hear something like like ten million or something like that. Like, but I don't know. It's probably not gonna be something that crazy. That's something crazy that listen. I would love to hear, but it's probably not even realistic. At least not for the days that we are 
we have on this planet. You know, like, I mean, maybe y'all great grands or something like that, but I don't know. That sounds like a lot. It sounds like a lot, even for everybody in the world. <laughs> New expectations for institutional involvement. Uh, the incremental price that, that uh, we assume for institutions um, actually has more than doubled. So, uh, you know, I don't want to give out any particular uh, uh, prices, but because we don't know um, how quickly, we don't know how quickly um, some, the, the more independent. Get our hopes up. I want to see 10 million, Kathy, tell me 10 million. So, hey, what, what's, what the market cap got to be and all that for that to happen? It's going to be something. <laughs> it's going to be a number that don't exist on the planet. But listen, I want to hear it still. Make me believe the bullshit. <laughs> and in registered investment advisors here in the United States, those platforms are saying, give us three months to do our due diligence. The others are saying we need at least six months. So, you know, uh, I, I would put those in the institutional bucket as well. But in your view, Kathy, all of the factors are moving the price of this in an upwards trajectory. Yes, indeed. Here's the thing, guys. There will be volatility. There is no opportunity without volatility. The last Bitcoin bull market had 13 corrections of 10% or more as Bitcoin rallied from 3,800 to 69,000. What, you think we're going to get to 1 million without a few dips? Intelligent money is pouring into Bitcoin and no one knows how high this thing is going. Act accordingly. Real quick, my friends, cryptocurrency taxes do not have to be scary. Pay your taxes and you can get your taxes done in minutes through our partner CoinLedger. Use our link below to create a free account and get your crypto taxes done. This is the turbo tax of crypto. I've used this. This is completely free to use. You do not pay upfront. You only pay at the end when you want to download your tax report. It's so easy to use. You get your crypto taxes done in minutes. All you do is connect your wallet to mm. CoinLedger. CoinLedger automatically calculates your gains, your losses, your income in your home fiat currency for free. So you track your gains, that actually your sounds losses, useful. your income for free with this software. If you use our link below, you only pay at the end if and when you want to download your tax report. Again, you must use our affiliate link to get all perks. Make sure you use our link below. These guys are like the TurboTax of crypto, but they're also trusted by regular TurboTax in that CoinLedger tax reports can be easily and simply imported into your TurboTax or Tax Act or whatever tax mm. software you use. I've used this service before. CoinLedger crypto tax service works. You will not stress over your crypto taxes if you use this. Make sure that you use our affiliate link below so that you're able to set up a free account with them and try this out for free. You use this service. It takes five minutes. You will have such peace of mind when you're done. Crypto taxes are easy with CoinLedger. I'm excited about Bitcoin. I'm even more excited about altcoins. Think about this. In the last 30 days, 73,000 Ethereum got burnt. Bitcoin's supply flow decreases with time. Ethereum's supply decreases with time. And the Ethereum chart looking great, flirting with 4,000 price range and above. Just checking in with the Ethereum network, Ethereum generated 190 million plus in weekly fees, revenue, putting it at an annualized rate of over 10 billion for the first time since early 2022. Think about it like this. Due to Ethereum's fee burning mechanism, this also has an impact on the supply, decreasing it by 33,000 ETH, about 125 million this week. We are entering a golden age for Ethereum. I'm serious about this. Ethereum and altcoins are about to enter a golden age. Or are we? I ask this to you. Are we about two months away from the start of a very long golden age for Ethereum and ETH? I think so. This analyst thinks so. This is the thesis. In my opinion, new changes to three big factors for Ethereum, the big upgrade coming up, suggests yes, an ETH golden age is about to begin. Recent price increases have been great, but regrettably, Ethereum has still been underperforming for years. That's all about to change. ETH's underperformance these past three years comes down to three factors. In short, the three factors are this. These things are changing. Factor number one, Ethereum has been seen as illegitimate for years. The ETH ETF in May fixes this. Number two, L2s have been viewed as clunky. 
The big upgrade adds blobs next week and general growth are fixing this. And then number three, L2s has been seen as kind of parasitic to Ethereum. Now the latest data on L2s to L1, Symbiosis fixes this. So all of these items are getting solved. The reason for ETH's underperformance these past few years are ending. Ethereum is about to become a consensus bet. Ethereum's golden age is finally arriving mm. in about two months. And I see a lot of FUD, people saying that the Ethereum ETFs can never be as successful as the Bitcoin ETFs. Guys, that's so short-sighted and simple-minded. Saying ETH ETF lows would be insignificant is pure cope. Absolute minimum, I expect, is one-third of Bitcoin flows indexed to relative market cap. Although in a bull market, I expect far more. TradFi has had so many ways to get exposure to Bitcoin. Ethereum has had relatively fewer. ETFs change this. Do you think the Ethereum ETFs get approved in May? I'd say yes, but it seems only one man stands in their way. Hey, Gary Gensler just gave an Ethereum update on the ETF May 23rd deadline. Listen. You are facing a deadline coming up in May around a spot Ethereum ETF. It is, Having it is Kaylee. You had to I get your I do have to ask question this in. question. Of course, we are now about two months into a world in which spot Bitcoin products exist. They have had incredible uh, demand, more than $8 billion in inflows. Now the optimism is Ether spot ETFs are next. Do you not first have to settle the question as to whether Ether is a security or a commodity? Can you answer that first? Well, Kaylee, again, uh, on any one of these crypto tokens, it's about the facts and circumstances as to whether the investing public is anticipating a profit based on the efforts of others. Um, but we do have filings in front of us. I'm not going to comment. I will say this. This is a highly speculative asset class. One could just look at the volatility of Bitcoin in the last few days. and. Look, I grew up loving roller coasters. Uh, maybe in my adult years, I don't ride them as much, but you, you really should be conscious as the investing public that this is a bit of a roller coaster ride on these volatile uh, assets. And then the question is, is how, how firm is the foundation? Of the, you know, you get to the top of that hill, how's the foundation underneath it? You know, are there cash flows or what's the use case? For thousands of these tokens, there's about 15 or 20,000 of them. They also may be securities because the investing public is relying on the efforts of some group of entrepreneurs in the middle of these projects. And would you consider Ether as part of that group that may be securities? I understand you're asking the question, but again, I'm going to okay. defer on that question. Finally, guys, just five more days to take part in this mm. competition. Commonwealth airdropping 2.4 million in VC allocation to hot unlaunched web. That's interesting. So these tokens are just on what the people think. So if I see something and I feel like it's a great investment because I know that it's going to go up in value, it's now a security. That's like that's like somebody releasing a company releasing a new like new a new type of Pokemon card, a new card. I see that that's going to go up in value, and a lot of people agree. Is that now a security? Is, is is a new gaming card a security now too? It's I don't know. Yeah, this kind of it's kind of weird how the SEC worked to me. Like I don't I don't fully understand. I don't fully understand how they going after people this hard and for what somebody else thinks of what someone is creating. Anytime in this space in general, when it comes down. People believe that this space in general is changing the world and pushing the world forward. So that means that investing in what's going to push the world forward early is going to make you a profit, which means chances are you're going to make a profit from damn near anything legitimate in this space because this is like, it's like a whole new world, basically. It's like the same way that hospitals and, and, and medicine and stuff like that push the world forward. This stuff is now being built in digital form, not not digital medicine, but like the foundations of what's going to shape the future of this world moving forward is being built right now. Like when it comes down to tracking medicine, it's probably going to be done through NFTs at some point. When it comes down to everything, social security, all of this is probably going to be done through this technology that's created right now. So for us to say and look at things like, oh, we can get paid if we get in on this early. That classifies it as a security? I mean, 
if it does, it does. But that that's kind of crazy that I can see something as an opportunity, and that is the reason that it's you know seen as a bad thing. I guess. The three projects for free. We're partnered with them, but I can't even do this because it's not for U.S. Only certain countries. So if you're outside of the U.S. in a good jurisdiction, maybe. You all right, y'all. So there we have it. Looks like another promotion. That being said, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. How do you feel about all these topics? The price point, like the, the million dollar price point, well, over a million dollar price point at this point. Um, and then Ethereum. Do you think Ethereum is going to be a, a big leader? Like, And do you think that this could potentially overtake Bitcoin? I heard a lot of people saying that too. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.